Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Bouge RV RV door shade cover. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So we recently got an RV and one of the problems we ran into is in the morning, our door was facing east and the sun came right in the door, right in my eyes, right in bed. Not only that, there's no privacy, there's no shade on the door. So someone could just walk up in the middle of the night and look in. So I wanted some privacy. And if you're familiar with how RV doors work, you have the door, then you have the screen door. So there's no easy access for a shade on a door but I still wanted to cover it so I came across this one here so this is kind of a padded material it seems to be about quarter inch thick it has some foam in it so that will help insulate the heat to keep the heat out or the cold out depending on the season and then it has some magnets in here so I think this will mount up on the door and then this folds open so if you want a little bit of light in you can roll this up a little bit and then it's got a magnet so have magnets on both sides or one side Looks like it has a magnet on this side to keep this rolled up. So you can completely have it cover your door or you can roll it up. On the other side, it has hook and loop fastener. So it comes with some strips here. So you'd mount these on the frame of your door and then this will stick to it and then you can roll it up. And the size of this is for a 25 by 16 window, which is very common on RVs. So I looked at some traditional shades and they're pretty expensive. And since you don't have access to it, I didn't think it'd be that convenient to do. To actually do this or any other kind of shade, you almost have to open the door and go outside to adjust it. So with this thing, what I'll probably do is I'll close it at night. And then during the day, if I want the sun to come in, like if it's not super sunny, I'll open it up to let some light in the camper. Otherwise I'll probably keep it closed. So this comes with four strips and let's see if they're the right size. They look to be about the right size, but I'll have to go out to the camper door and measure those. I don't know if these need to be cut down. So I'm going to head up to my camper now, and I don't know if I'll be able to show every part of installing this, but I'll at least show the process of what I did and then show the finished result. Okay, so I'm out at my camper, and the first thing I need to do is clean this. It has a lot of dust on it, so I'm going to wipe it down with a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol. Next, I want to see how this fits up against the window. So it seems to be a pretty tight fit. The edges seem to line up perfectly with the plastic on the window frame. So if we look here, the hook and loop is about three eighths of an inch from the edge. So I should be able to line up the hook and loop strips there with the edge of this plastic. I'll see how that fits next. So these will definitely need to be cut down. So I'm going to peel the backing off and I'll install this and I'll cut these down. I won't be able to film this part because it's not easy to hold my camera and put this on, but it's pretty straightforward. Peel the back off, stick it in place, and then I'll cut these to fit. Okay. Okay, so I have the hook and loop fastener installed. So I kind of trim these corners. So I put the top and bottom on first, then the sides, and then I trim this and I cut this kind of curve, but I wasn't super precise with it. I don't really care. This is mostly gonna be covered. If you're really picky, you could try and cut this to the exact curvature. And But I did find this tape to be very sticky, so that's good. So now I'm going to install the cover on and then I'll show that. Okay, so I've placed the cover on and now I can peel up here. and it has that magnet. Okay, the magnet's on this side to hold it open. So when I peel it up, I want to make sure that I peel enough here so it's not pulling against that magnet. So this side hangs down just a little bit. There it is, up a little more, a little more. I don't know, can we go? Looks like we can. That kind of seemed to flop down pretty easy when it was up that high. Now, if you want this completely off, you can absolutely just take this whole thing off and store it somewhere but most of the time I might want to just be able to peek out the door. So I'll just have a little bit of it open. So there we go, take a step back. Let me look at it from the outside. Can't hardly see it because of the tinted window. I guess I'll go inside the camper and we'll look. So this is what it looks like from inside the camper. So this is currently pressing against the screen. So let me roll this up and see what that looks like. So this is putting pressure against the screen. So I don't know if I'd want to have that like that for a long period of time that could stretch the screen out. But I don't know if I'm going to even use it in this fashion. I'll probably just open it one, let me try that. Okay, so like this, it is touching the screen, but it's not really pressing out against it. So a lot of times I'll probably use it like this so I can peek out the door. I might even fold it down at the top. So it's closed at the bottom and open at the top. Now you could probably offset this thing. So, you know, move it up a couple inches and just leave a gap at the top or the bottom too. That's another option and just leave it flat. Of course at nighttime, I'm just gonna keep it closed so it can keep the light out. So that's the Bouge RV RV door window cover. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.